Legal Fireworks resumes in certificate forgery case against Obaseki. Hello, my wonderful people. We want to really appreciate you. Compliments of the season. Your ever support and your continuous messages. God bless you. Thank you so much. Yes, the court case is still on and today the court will be uh, meeting again for further hearing. Uh, remember that the last court case, the judge could not attend to uh, court because uh, of health reasons and um, we all know of what happened. Uh, the the judge, the uh, lawyer, Obaseki's lawyer representing Obaseki, Mosaic, uh, was able to show the people, although not in court session, saying what the case is all about is about the certificate forgery. And as a matter of fact, he's got the certificate here, which he flaunted out. Uh, to the people saying that he's got the certificate all signed by the registrar and what have you. Well, today we are hearing that the legal framework uh, resumes with regards to the certificate for DRE case. Let's get on and get all the details. Legal fireworks resumed today in the pre-election suit challenging the academic qualification of Governor Gordon Obaseki of Edo State with just nine days remaining in the constitutional lifespan of the case. Legal fire resumes today in the pre-election suit challenging the academic qualification of Governor Gordon Obaseki of Edo State with just nine days remaining in the constitutional lifespan of the court case. Hearing in the suit suffered a setback on Thursday as proceedings were adjourned following the sudden illness of Justice Hamed Mohammed of the Abuja Division of the Federal High Court. The alleged certificate forgery suit, which was filed against Obaseki by the All Progressive Congress APC and its chieftain, Williams Edobo. On July the 13th, 2020, had a constitutional lifespan of 180 days, which will become spent out on January the 13th, 2021. The suit itself was cut up by integrals and illegal and legal technicalities that were adopted by the combat, with each trying to outfit the other. Although the matter was adjourned for Thursday from the, for the cross-examination cross of the plaintiff's witness, Rafael, a retired police officer who claimed to be a forensic expert, proceedings could not be, contain, could not be contacted due to the Justice Mohammed illness. The matter which was originally fixed for 12 p.m. did not commence till about 2 p.m. when the judge walked in he apologized for the delay justice mohammed explained that he had served that he had severe malaria attack and was not able to go on with the proceedings on full trial of the case and adjourned the proceedings to today the courts will continue on cross-examination as more evidence and counter evidences will be looked at with the forensic in on ground to ascertain if really the document presented by either side of the game court case is real. So my people, this is what is happening. Uh, that is the case so far. And um, that's what's happening as um, the court, the case continues in court and more evidences and counter evidences will be looked at. Uh, Governor Gordon Obaseki's lawyer, as I earlier reiterated, um as told everyone you know on that day when the judge walked in and said he was not feeling too well as a result the court case cannot continue when he walked in he told the people he said he wasn't feeling too well however however uh the 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 lawyer to obaseki the defendant uh came up and you know showed everyone this what he had and told them that uh, there is no cause for alarm as obaseki's certificate is here with him so i mean this is right now what's going on and um, a lot is happening uh today we'll be getting to understand more with regards to the court case uh please stay tuned as we'll be keeping you more informed as the day unfold there is, the court has further be adjourned from last week 
Thursday when they could not continue with the court proceedings as a result of um, ill health. The case will continue today. Uh, when Obaseki won the election, Ize Iyamu, the candidate of the APC, uh, sent him a congratulatory message and said he was not going to contest the election and what have you. But an APC chieftain, one William, uh, has sued Obaseki, uh, aiming to say that um, the, the certificate he presented, why the court case, uh, why the election was on, was fraudulent. And um, he feels that um, APC was being cheated as a result of that, and um, they're going back to the court. So this is what is happening today. Uh, as the court case will continue, there are indications and indices, some people some from some quarters saying that Adam Sushomole is right behind the court case and um, he has personal interest. Like we all know, he was like the chairman of the campaign. He was even much more seen than the very candidate. And so uh, yesterday we presented you with the news of sons, uh, you know, uh, do, uh, sons and daughters in the diaspora sending a strong message to Ize Yamu saying, uh, we, we saw the election. Indeed, you are one of us. You are not an enemy. You are a brother. And as a matter of fact, you are a grassroots politician. You were born and bred in Edo State. You are a sincere person. We know you, you know, and um, we want to say to you that, you know, uh, why not work with your brother, according to them, and don't let Edo citizens see you as an enemy. You know, that was their position. Let them see you as somebody who is a partner. You know, it's just a race. And uh, remember when the Oba of Benin called those involved in the election especially the two main uh, big opposition at that time obaseki and ize yamuto his palace he said at the end of the day he told them the harsh reality he said one of you will emerge the winner whoever emerges the winner should do what jonathan did in 2015 when he called buhari to say congratulations he said you are brothers and you are from the same soil they said do land it's just a contest it's a race one person will win but at the end of the day, it should not leave enemies. Brothers should continue to be brothers. You know, that was the advice of the monarch, the, uh, the Benin traditional monarch, to Ize Iyamu as well as Obaseki. And so the matter has been ongoing and um, more, uh, you know, evidences came when they said, indeed, uh, they brought a professor who said he has never seen Obaseki's certificate. And they also brought uh, another, somebody also finished at the same, about the same time that Obaseki would have graduated. And he showed his certificate to the house saying this was how the certificate as at that time looked like. This is the signature. This is all in all. And this is what it is. Uh, you know, the lawyer, like we are saying, uh, came out and showed the result of Obaseki, presented it, which he will present in the cross-examination um, for today, if the court case holds, because we know what happened last week, that um, the judge could not uh, unavoidably uh, continue the court case as a result of health-related issues. He was seriously down with malaria. So my people, stay tuned. Apple Live Media will keep you up to date. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. We really appreciate you. God bless you. Bye for now.